Hey guys, Backyard Scientist here. There's some new water bottle flipping craze going on right now. I just don't really understand it. Maybe I'm getting too old, or maybe I'm already good at it. The concept is pretty simple. You just fill up a water bottle about a third of the way, and then the goal is to flip it and get it to land right side up on the table. Bonus points if you can get it to land on the cap. What happens if we replace the water with mercury? Will it land right side up every single time? And what's more important, the weight of the water or the volume of the water? We can replace both those things with mercury and then see what happens. Let's get started. We need to establish a baseline first. What does a perfect water bottle toss look like in slow motion? Take 25. The water bottle weighs 252 grams, so we'll weigh out an equal amount of mercury. Mercury is 14 times as dense as water, which means that the same weight will take up a lot less space. And I know it's the same weight, but I'm still kind of worried about the water bottle breaking. Alright, so here's our two water bottles. Oh my gosh, that feels so weird. This is going to be interesting. Alright. Here we go. No. Yes! Yes! All right, nothing looks like it's spilled, nothing dripped out. Nope, everything worked out fine and I stuck the landing on my third try. It's really cool how the force of the impact blasts the mercury off the wall. I even feel like the mercury-filled bottle is more stable than a water-filled bottle. I mean, look at this, I hit it right on the corner and it still managed to right itself and I stuck the landing. Let's move on and try a bottle with the same volume of mercury. Now it's time for this big bottle. This has three pounds in it. I'm actually kind of scared. I don't even really want to do this. Check that out, watch this. Just dropping it. All right, well, here goes nothing. Oh my God, oh geez. Okay, here we go. Nothing bad's gonna happen. Nothing bad's gonna happen. Nothing bad happened, okay. Yes! So I think the key to a perfect bottle flip is to rotate the bottle around its center of gravity, which is about the level of the liquid in the bottle. This will cause the liquid to come back around and hit the other side of the bottle, stopping the rotation of the bottle, and it'll fall straight down. And check this out, the bottle just sticks to the landing, it barely even bounces, but try dropping a bottle without flipping it. It just bounces right off. There's nothing to absorb or transfer the energy, but in a bottle that's been flipped, half of the liquid is still in free fall, and when the bottle tries to bounce back up, the liquid coming back down cancels out the forces and you get a perfect bottle flip. Oh yeah, and all these high-speed camera shots were taken using the Kronos high-speed camera system. This camera was made by YouTuber Tesla500, and he's gonna start a crowdfunding campaign at the end of the month. In the meantime, you can check out his website or YouTube page. I'll put the link down below in the description. <laughs> I also made a short test to see if bottle flipping really was easier. This is my sister, and she says she's never done bottle flipping before. She got about 25% accuracy on both tries. Me? I did a little bit better. I got 60% accuracy with mercury and 30% with water. Well, I think that settles it. The winner of the Easy Bottle Flip Award goes to... Mercury. Water is good. Water works too, but I mean, there's just so much more technique involved in trying to get the water bottle to land right. And the mercury bottle tends to fix itself. That's the end of this video. I've had a long day flipping bottles, but I've had a blast. If you want more Backyard Scientists, you can find me on Facebook, Instagram, or Twitter. And if you have a cool project idea, you can submit it down below on my website, The Backyard Scientist. Speaking of cool projects, Aaron from the Destruction Channel sent me this awesome clip of a guillotine he made. The thing is like 10 feet tall, has an 80 foot blade that can come down and pretty much destroy anything. So check out his channel, he's got some cool videos on there. And if you've got your own cool project you wanna share, submit it on my website. Until then, see you guys next time, bye.